What's up everybody, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a streaming server or a recording server, basically a server that captures what you're doing on one computer and takes it and saves it and streams it and does all that work on another computer. Now you're wondering, well, why would I want to do this? Well, first of all, if you have a computer that's really good at gaming, but maybe you don't want to upgrade the processor and stuff, or maybe a processor upgrade would cost more than the computer itself, which this one will come in right around $300, $400, some processor upgrades to get a nice streaming computer, uh, to actually get a nice streaming processor, actually cost more than that. Some of the newest uh, i7s or some of the newest i9s are really, really expensive and actually are quite comparable to what you could make a whole other PC for. And there's actually a lot of perks to this too, is because once you're doing this and once you have this all set up, you don't get any lag if there's no lagging because of streaming and it's all offloaded to another system that's fully dedicated to streaming. And so basically what this does is it will allow you to A, capture what you're doing on one um, computer. You can go through and be like, hey, this is one computer right here. This is what I'm doing. You set up the mic and all that stuff. And it just sends it all to another computer that other computer is specifically dedicated to uploading and coding, uh, streaming, capturing, all that stuff. And it's directly dedicated to doing that. So you don't have to worry about anything else. You just play your game on your computer, have the music going, do whatever you want and have no like bad effects from streaming. It's just like you're playing your game like you normally would. So the thing about the um, a separate computer though is it has to be a relatively powerful machine, but not as powerful as if you know you were trying to do it all in one system, which is why having a separate system actually ends up being cheaper in most cases. So first of all, I want to talk about you know what at what point should you be willing to buy another system and do this. Well, I would say that if you're someone out there that's watching this video that's kind of decided that hey, I want to buy another computer because I feel like, you know, this is something I want to do, but you don't have any following, I would really highly recommend, you know, if you're going to buy a computer that's specifically for streaming, get a Ryzen 5 uh, or do something like that and just test it, you know, keep your quality kind of low, but just see how it goes. And if you get really far in that, then I'd recommend kind of coming over here and actually building a separate machine or upgrading your system. I just see a lot of people that you're like, oh, let me get all this nice equipment and then the equipment never gets used. So, Basically, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to talk about um, how to build this, kind of the different parts, components, what you need requirements-wise, um, some different stuff that I've used in the past, and then, of course, you can go about, you know, doing one yourself. Um, so let me give you a little past experience with uh, what I've done from streaming and, you know, my circ circumstances around streaming, because if you guys aren't familiar, back when I was in middle school, I was the top Xbox One Minecraft streamer, and that was, of course, on the Xbox. Now, Xbox One had a nice little... Um, integrated feature where it allowed you to stream and so I never needed a capture card or anything like that so I was basically just kind of using what was built in. There was a lot of quality issues, I was running off of Wi-Fi rather than Ethernet, there was a long list and obviously I was that was me in middle school and that was kind of who I am so can't really can't really do much with that one but basically that was just kind of my little streaming experience and then therefore I went on to do YouTube on you know doing YouTube as uh, streaming to YouTube making videos on YouTube uh, for a gaming channel playing Minecraft and like vlogs and a bunch of other games I can't remember some of the some shooters a lot of the older stuff and I got into that and I really I was actually sitting on the Mac I was actually using a Mac at the time um, because I got it really cheap so I was just going to use that at the moment and then I eventually ended up building a couple systems and then getting this one back here but basically the Mac was what I was running most of the time and I thought you know why don't I grab a capture card so I can record the Xbox uh, go play on there and stuff which I never ended up using so it's kind of disappointing there but I do have the save so in case I want to record some gameplay on a computer now I can really easily without having to install OBS and you know getting actual performance uh, benefits but besides the point of why I've gotten one of these let's talk about you know what you want to do if you're considering doing this. As I said, if you're to consider doing this, you really want to have a established presence already before you're willing to invest this money. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you can or cannot do, but I would really highly recommend don't, you know, buy this if you're not really convinced you're going to use it because it is a good investment. So let's talk about this. So first off, capture card. Now, as I said, I mentioned earlier, these basically capture what you have going through here. It's got a two um, HDMI ports on this one. Um, this is an HD60, a Glotto HD60. And this basically just takes in um, from one, from like your graphics card, and to your monitor. And it has real time, so pretty much the moment it goes in, relatively, it comes out the other end. And you basically can capture all the um, data on uh, directly onto your computer, so you can basically have it live streamed to your, that, that streaming PC. It, the streaming PC encodes it, sends it off, and you basically just play your game like you normally would. No lag, no side effects, no bad um, crashes, anything like that. Worst thing that happens is your streaming machine goes down, and then you no longer have a stream. 
So, also the good thing about this though is that if even if your does, computer does go down, like say you, the game you're playing crashes and stuff, your stream doesn't immediately go down. Your, your main computer can pretty much shut off and your streaming PC will still be streaming, leaving you with a little bit of a more of a talking area, like, hey, this happened, you know, my PC crashed, there's a little bit more talking area rather than everything just shuts off on one system, everything breaks. Um, so this is basically what this does is it, as I said, it just transfers all the data into USB, sends it to the computer so it can use. Now there's a couple other options. There's actually some PCIe cards that actually sit in the computer itself. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. I like this one just because it's a separate module um, and I actually, it's 60 FPS, 1080p. I wouldn't ever need really anything more than that. Um, I, as the, you know, the rise of 4K and stuff, I do plan to eventually use that, but there's no really need for something really high tech and advanced. Um, when you're just doing what I'm doing as a tech level channel, as a really okay regular channel uh, doing computer stuff, I really don't need to invest in getting one of those 4K cards. But that may be something if you're interested in streaming or recording 4K, uh, having a separate computer for that, that's maybe something you want to consider. So let's talk about what you actually need on the computer side. So graphics card, it's not really that important. Now a lot of people have been like, oh yeah, well I want to get a nice graphics card in the... I mean, I d I'm not going to deny that a nice graphics card in your gaming PC, we'll, we'll draw that line of gaming and the streaming PC are two separate ones, so please know what I'm referring to. Um, a gaming PC, you really do want a nice graphics card because you want something that looks nice. And I would not expect, you know, don't invest in a nice processor. Um, I'd say an i5, a newest i5 would be fine. Um, and then of course you could also get another, that other computer would still have to have like an i5, but you can have a much older i5. And especially for streaming, according to Glotto for this card right here, you really want an i7, uh, maybe a third or fourth generation, somewhere around there. That'll basically be something that can stream all your games while you're doing it without any problem. As for graphics card on the streaming PC, I wouldn't you, you really want something that's really low end, a 1050 or lower. It's not going to be something that's going to make or break your streaming or recording experience. Obviously, you want to have the ability to go into the streaming software and be like, you know, mess around with that, have a little bit, depending on the streaming software, it may have a little bit more of a um, kick to it. It may need a little bit more graphics. It just depends on the software you're using. But as for this system here, this is pretty much an ideal system. I just need to get like a Quadro or something that I have, an extra one, and just throw it in there. And that basically just be a regular streaming PC. You don't need like high-end graphics. What really matters is the processor, which has to be at least an i7. And I'd really recommend something above like a Gen 3 or Gen 4. And, and of course, you can get something from AMD like a um, Ryzen processor. Um, those will be fine too. It just all depends on kind of what you, the level of you're doing because of course recording is going to be here and then streaming is going to be a little bit more powerful and you're going to need a little bit stronger system. But as for like, you know, the motherboard, the memory, all that stuff, depending of course if you're recording, you're going to want a nice, you know, uh, amount of storage to record stuff, but you're not going to need an SSD because that's not really going to affect performance as well. Um, it's basically the mass storage if you're recording and if you're streaming, you really don't need a big hard drive or anything like that as well. And so you've got pretty much everything set up. And then once you've done that, RAM and stuff, um, really it also depends on what you're doing. So like some softwares, especially some of the advanced streaming softwares, will want a lot of RAM because it sucks it up. It wants to, you know, do all the fancy effects and you're really going to need a good amount of RAM. Then depending on like OBS, for example, um, it has a little bit of RAM usage, but not substantially amount. So eight gigabytes would be fine. Um, and of course DDR3 or DDR4 is fine. It doesn't really have to be the newest and greatest. It just has to have a good enough processor that can still stream everything to what you want to do. So I'm going to kind of show you, set this up on my computer, show you kind of how this will work if I wanted to set this up, and then we'll go through from there. So if you're interested, um, stick around for the next part. Um, that's basically kind of the background story and what you kind of need to know before we go into the rest of the part of this video. So in our system today, we have an Intel i7 first gen. I don't know the exact number of it because it's pretty old. Um, and then we've got ourselves a one terabyte, actually I think I've got six terabytes but only one is hooked up at the moment so, so one terabyte of hard drive i've just got a regular motherboard and four gigabytes of ram now you're going well why are you doing that well as proof of concept obviously please don't follow as i do this is just to show you what it looks like um obviously i'm a broke youtube channel that doesn't make anywhere nearly any money off of this and absolutely no views so this is just for fun, which means I don't have the advanced resources to do everything, um, especially get the upgrades on the system that would be needed to do that, but it's just proof of concept, so please just listen to what I say and not necessarily exactly the specs on the system. So as I said, this is basically just a testing system that has itself all those different things. I'll find a graphics card in a second, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to hook 
this up in between these two. Um, so basically we'll have this go between that computer and the monitor. Um, so the computer that I have my main computer to my mo uh, monitor. And then I'll have this hooked up back here. I'll set up the Glotto streaming service and basically just show you that this is so, the reason why I'm really thinking about not showing like the whole process of setting everything up because it depends on like what the card you get. Um, a Glotto is a good one. Um, they actually have stuff that kind of keeps its value. This still is kind of the same as I got it for. Um, also keep in mind that this is, it's really difficult because like if you're doing one software, like a Glotto will set it up. So if you're doing streaming software, um, you have to like use their app, but if you want to do OBS, you have to like do a whole bunch of other stuff. It's really annoying. So if you're interested in doing that, I would just say that that'd be a separate video that you should find online to how to exactly set it up. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of the hardware side of things. And then of course there's great videos online. that will be more knowledgeable than I am because I really don't use this in particular because when I'm streaming, I have uh, an AT100X and I really don't need to buy or use this card uh, separately. So, but we're going to set this up and we'll show you how that looks and then we'll wrap up the video. And so I'm going to, so this is from my computer over here to my um, monitor, make sure it's the right way. So basically one side will say, say in, one side will say out. I'm um, just going to line those up accordingly. And then this one comes from my TV over here and basically just kind of links them up. And so that's, this is just like an example of the card. If you were doing a card that was built into, like you had a PCIe card, you'd want to go through and take the um, card itself and then you do the software on that computer. So like you'd, you'd plug in the input and output and that would all be a card on the um, uh, computer itself. And then this would go, this just basically plugs in the back of your computer. Um, so plug that in. And so you've got yourself a setup. You turn that computer on, you get all that stuff set up, and you'd go through and just set it all up to stream, like OBS or anything on there, and you set that all up to stream, and then you just play your games on this. So overall, there are some goods and some bad sides to doing this. Um, number one, you have a lot of problems with the fact that you have to have a whole separate system. You can't just like pause and on, pause the stream. Um, you don't, might have to get like a whole separate control panel just to run the system separately. Um, might need like a switch to switch keyboard and mouse. There's a lot of different things that you, differences, but this has a lot of like benefits as well in the sense that you're not paying the extra amount to get like a whole expensive streaming PC. You just buy a regular gaming PC and then you have no problems whatsoever of having to, you can save like the 600 to, uh, you know, $100 that you're saving on, you know, get a separate PC. And then also you can serve as an extra gaming PC if you ever have an issue, um, like where your PC dies or something, it's kind of a backup, or if one friends come over, things like that. And so that was what I'd recommend if you're going to go through and you don't want to spend all the money in getting a whole separate new PC, but you also want to, you know, take it to the next level and say, hey, I need a PC that's dedicated to doing this. I think it's time that I, you know, step up the game get a little bit more professional and do this. But thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, things like that, let me know down in the comments. And I also recommend you, if you're watching this video and you're a streamer, um, check out the Creators Hub. It's a Discord in the description. It's got like 5,000 members and a couple big streamers on there. Um, big YouTubers, people like that as well. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.